Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yoni and we have something very special for you today but before we get into that I am going to show you the giveaway that we're going to be doing and once we reach 1,000 subscribers. So what you need to do to enter this you need to be subscribed to my channel and once we reach past 1,000 subscribers this amazing rare Jirachi PSA 10 will be given away to one of you. All right, so what we are gonna be doing today, I'm gonna to show the product first. We are gonna be opening up a special box today. It is not Pokemon. However, it is a new TCG Disney Lorcana trading card game. So we will get into that right in a little bit, but I do wanna show some of the goodies that I did get at Gen Con. I went with my brother, my sister, and her fiance, and we all got a booster box. So it was an awesome experience playing some board games and stuff like that. So right here, they were giving away this in line. We got the Brave Little Taylor uh, Mickey pin. It's awesome, it shows the artwork with the Brave Little Taylor right there. And they also gave a second pin as well with the Maleficent Lorcana pin. So that is very cool. I know my sister and her fiance, they love to collect these pins and my sister has awesome pins that she was wearing during the gen con and stuff like that so i know she really liked these some other things i did enter a tournament i did win some games i didn't make it to sunday however it was really fun and i really did enjoy playing the game and when i was pulling the packs after i did my best of three uh sets of three matches uh we get to open up packs and what i opened up was a brave little tailor and if you can see down here, there's a signature, and this is the creator of the game, Ryan Miller. So I thought that was kind of cool to get a signature by him. And it shows you down here, and I'll talk about this when I open, the legendary symbol down there. And that's the highest rarity you can get uh, for the kind of like the base set, not the secret version. We'll talk about that in a second. And then anytime you purchase or played in the tournament or you did a demo, you would get one of these Gen Con Mickey Mouse uh, Musketeer. And this is a really cool card because this will never be printed again. It's from Gen Con 2023 and just an awesome card to have. And lastly, my sister did allow me and her fiance to show off some of these cards. So there's another signature of the Mickey and you can see down there, that symbol is the super rare. And then she has three of them that we're gonna show off. That one was signed, and then you have the Wayward Sorcerer Mickey Mouse, the other superhero, but this one is the foil. So you can see that each pack will get one of these. And then she did pull this, her and her fiance, today in the morning, this awesome Mickey Mouse Wayward Sorcerer. So in Pokemon terms, this would be the alt art or the secret rare, and they call it the Enchanted. So this card is awesome. So. Hopefully we get to see one of the 12 Enchanted cards in our opening. So we'll get into the opening right now. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, this is the booster box. So you were able to purchase one of these at the Gen Con events. And it comes with 24 booster packs and it has 12 cards per pack, as you can see right there in that gold circle. So this set will actually come out on September 1st. It was released a little bit early uh, at Gen Con as a special thing. So if you read on the back, as you can see right here, it says each 12 card booster contains one foil, uh, like the Sorcerer Mickey that I showed you, and that could be any rarity. And then there's gonna be two rares or hires, three uncommons, and six uncommons. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we get in here. Alrighty, we got it open right there. And assuming it's like a Pokemon booster box, you can kind of put this up and put it in the back if we can ever get it right there. Actually, I don't really want to do that because I don't want to damage the card. So if you really want to do the display like they would do in a, uh, a card store, that's what they would do. So let's get right into it. I'm going to move the booster box off to the side. So first pack. We have the brave little Taylor Mickey Mouse right there. And that is one of my favorite artworks out of this set. So I was very hyped to pull that card. So we will go over and it will be six uncommons to start. So 
We have Develop Your Brain to start off with. Ooh, my sister's favorite car, card, the Scar from, uh, it says Fury Unsurper. Uh, Usurper, my bad. Uh, Healing Glow, Dr. Facilier. Horse, Fire the Cans, I love this one. I love the blue and steel deck. This is one of my favorite decks to play. When I play in the tournament, I play the, the purple and yellow one. So I like that. Ooh, another playable card. Grandma Tala right there. And if you read right here, it says when this character is banished, you may put this card into your inkwell face down. And the, this card is an inkable card, as you can see right here with the little reefs right there. And I'll show you one that is not inkable. So basically when it gets banished or gets destroyed, it becomes part of your inkwell. And the number two right there tells you how much ink you need for that character. So that's good for getting other characters out of there. We have a Cinderella. We have Ransack right there from Emperor's New Groove. Maleficent. We have the Poison Apple. Then we have our Foil right there. So I kind of skipped over it. As you can see, we have two rares. Those were the two rares, the Maleficent and the Poison Apple. And our big foil is the Goons right there we will sleeve up each of these foils and as you can see right here i love these code cards they make a little picture of mickey you put four of them together and it makes a full brave little taylor mickey right there so we'll put that one off to the side all righty moving on to our elsa pack so we open up our first pack not a big pool we only got a hollow uh common foil so we'll flip it right over and we have the wizard himself, Merlin. Then we have Gaston. We have Shmee from uh, Peter Pan. We have Elsa. There is a lot of Elsa cards in here. And like I said, down here is the uncommon symbol. So we should have about six of these. Kristoff. We have Scepter right there. We have Be Our Guest. Then we are moving into our uncommons. We actually had two of them. This is one of my sister's favorite as well. She loves Lion King. We have Simba. Then on to our rares. And I always call this like the Triforce symbol. Kind of looks like it from Legend of Zelda. Uh, Lady Tremaine. Ooh, I like that one. I can't remember if I pulled this one or not, but I think I have. But my brother's booster box, he pulled the hollow foil of this. This is a super rare Stitch, and it's awesome. He's the rock star. He's got the guitar. I love this artwork from Lilo and Stitch. And then we do have an Elsa, but it is uncommon. And we have an Elsa foil right there. Moving on to our third pack, we have Maleficent. So it's not like Pokemon where there's four pack artworks. There's only three. We have Elsa, Brave Little Taylor Mickey, and Maleficent. So only three pack artworks. I don't know if they will change that in the future, if they do more. Because I remember Pokemon eventually did, um, they eventually did five pack artwork. So we have the Inkable right there. Like I said, it has a little reef. We have the Uncommon. We have Sergeant Tibbs, Stitch with his tongue out, Yzma, Sudden Chill, Corella Deville right there. Then we have Simba. Ooh, that is a cute little Simba right there. Love it. You got the little painting in the background. You got the butterflies. That is a very cool card. I would love to see this in the foil. Then we have Tigger, one of my sister's favorite. We are Disney fans here, but Tigger is one of her favorite Disney characters. So that was an uncommon. Then we have Pascal. I do like this one. I played this one in the tournament. So it says evasive right there. So only characters that are evasive can attack them. So if it's not an evasive character, it cannot destroy them. All right. And then we have Cash, uh, Cashier Cats. Ooh, we have a Maleficent rare right there. And then moving on, we have the Magic Mirror for the rare. And then on the end, ooh, I do like this one. We have a common genie, and it is the ever uh, impressive. I like that one. So that is very cool to hit. Alrighty, moving on to our fourth pack. We'll see if we can pull a legendary. We have seen everything. We've seen a common, an uncommon, a super rare, some of the foils, but we have not seen a legendary. So usually you get about what I've been noticing 
people open these up on YouTube, you get about about four legendaries. However, my sister did pull out of her booster box six legendaries with a legendary hollow foil. So hopefully we can get a legendary hollow foil out of one of these packs in this booster box. So moving on, we have control your temper. Friends on the other side. Ooh, I love this one. The guy right next to me in my tournament, he actually pulled the hollow foil of this. It is a Mickey Mouse Steamboat Pilot. I love that artwork. We have Hercules, the true hero, Coconut Baskets, Prince Philip, Donald Duck, one of the Musketeers. And I show you that uh, promo from the Gen Con, the Mickey one, and you can pull it in here as well. Then, Kuzma. Then we have Maximus, Pal uh, Palace Horse. From Frozen, not Frozen, Tangled, my bad. And then our Hollow, we have another uncommon. We have Merlin. Alrighty, moving on to a Mickey Pack artwork. We will see what we can get in here. So, moving on to our commons. We have the Magic Golden Flower. We have that Scar again, so that is pretty cool. We have Timon. Then Dr. Facilier. We have Meg. Prince Eric. Donald Duck, so we got a different Donald Duck there, and that's an uncommon starting with that. A Rafiki, and I did have this in my deck as well. I had the, it, this one gets it, because you have to put it into play, and then the ink has to dry. This one can go completely out with Rush, so it's good at, at taking out characters, that Rafiki. And then we have Dr. Facilier's cards. Then moving on to the rares, we have Maurice, and I saw someone play this in a casual play, and it seemed like it was actually a pretty playable card. So he seemed like he was doing pretty good with that. Ooh, I like this one. So as you could see, I, I was talking about it. This symbol, just this regular uh, gold outline without the reef. I always kind of just say that. This is not inkable. So you can ink one card each turn. And this should be the foil on the end. Ooh, we have Leafu, one of my least favorites, I would say. And that is a rare, though, for our hollow foil. So that is the first rare hollow foil we have pulled. Moving on to an Elsa pack. We have not gotten a hollow foil yet that has been higher than a rare. So hopefully that will be coming up soon. We have Jasmine disguised as our first common. Then we have Elsa, the Ice Surfer. Control your temper again. Maleficent. Tinkerbell. Break from Beauty and the Beast. Donald Duck is our uncommon. We have Elsa Snow Queen, and that is a very beautiful card. I actually have this in a hollow that I've already pulled, and it's pretty cool. Then we have Flynn Rider. We have Grab Your Sword for the first rare. And then moving on, I have pulled this as well. We have Ariel, and it was one of my favorites. Me, my brother, my sister, and her fiance, we talked about this. And this is one of my like top fives that I did want to pull. So we got a super rare Ariel on the end. We do have a Stitch common hollow foil right there. Alrighty, we got to see some good cards here. So hopefully this end of this box, we're towards the beginning, but usually I like to see it towards the end. It makes it more suspenseful. So we have a Goofy, then we have a Hee Hee, Freeze, right there and we have vicious betrayal from the lion king prince eric commanding that ship eye of the fates from hercules mickey mouse beast as our uncommon and our first rare part of your world and this is a song card so you can either pay three ink for this or you can exert your character that's three or more and what it does it says return a character card from your discard hand so uh you return that car uh character from your discard hand which is it's pretty good and then we have do it again and then the foil is a yeast uh, not yeast yzma from emperor's new groove common hollow foil hopefully this mickey pack right here has something good i would love to see another legendary brave little taylor because i would actually like to put that in my binder the one i got signed by ryan miller definitely going to keep that in a card saver might eventually grade eventually so one of my my other favorite artworks is a common i love this donald duck and this kind of like uh, machine right here it's a very cool artwork goofy my brother's favorite character kuna matata 
Magic Brooms, Stampede, Prince Eric. Ooh, a cool one. Well, for our uncommon, we have Bell as the engineer right there. And then we have Maximus, a different Maximus there. And then for our last uncommon, we have Starkey. And then moving on to the rares or higher, we have, ooh, we have Marshmallow. And I feel like my brother was talking about this one. Don't, don't hate me on the comments, but I feel like this one might be playable. So that might be a pretty good pool. And then, hey, we got a legendary right there. As you can see, it is a gold. And I know who's going to be happy about this. I've already pulled this one, but she needs it. It is Hades, Infernal Schemer. So definitely will be trading with my sister for some other cards for this Hades card. So she will really like this one right here. On the end, we have a Donald Duck Uncommon right there. Looks like he's very, very mad as our hollow foil. Moving on to another Mickey pack. We'll see what we get in here. Let's go a little bit quicker. I wanted to go a little bit slower to show you what the cards look like. Artwork and all that type of stuff. So we have that Donald Duck that I love. He's got a sword, a boo. We have Pumbaa from Lion King. Jafar, Duke of Wesselton. Beast Mirror as our uncommon. Captain b funnel as Merlin kind of doing his magic powers right there. We have Jasper, the common crook. And then for our first rare, we have a scar right there. I actually like the other fiery scar better. This one is kind of like a lame artwork, but it's still pretty cool. And then we have a genie right there on the job. Super rare. On the end, we do have a Flynn Rider uncommon hollow foil. We got three Elsa packs on the top of this booster box, so there is not much choice right there, if I, unless I was digging down to get a different pack artwork. We have Flounder right there, the little fish in the sea. And a lot of people like this one. I, I had no idea why they like it, more maybe for a meme. It's just kind of a basic card. One ink to play him, two attack, two defense, and if you exert him, he gives you one lore. You have Tangled right there, Sebastian, Tinkerbell, Vicious Betrayal again, Break, Fan the Flames, Anna is uncommon. I love that artwork right there. That is very cool. We have the Mad Hatter, and that was in one of the, the starting decks for the green and red. And then we have Leafu again, which we got as a hollow foil. We have Robin Hood, another one that my sister really likes. It's a very cool card. Love it. We got a Robin Hood super rare on the end. Oh, boom, baby. We got a legendary hollow foil right there. And I believe, oh no, I do have this one. I actually traded with my brother today for it, but not the hollow foil, but we got a beast uh, hollow foil. And that's really cool. That is my first hollow foil legendary. So that is a big pool out of this booster box and you're not guaranteed a uh, legendary out of your uh, hollow foil in a booster box. So it's all just kind of random. So that is a big pool right there. Moving along, we got our other Elsa pack. We'll see what we will get. We have a Mickey Mouse Detective. I love this card. I'm gonna read it for you because I've been playing. When, when you play this character, you may put the top card of your deck into your inkwell face down. So right when you play it, it doesn't have to be dried. You get to take a, a card from the top deck and ink it and put it exerted. So that's a quick way to get your characters out. That's why I love this blue and steel deck. So that's a really good card. Peter Pan, Simba, we have Jafar, Aladdin, Barak, Aurora, Ariel as our uncommon. We have Krunk, we have Lifu as our first rare, and our super rare. Yes, one of my favorites, Tinkerbell the Giant Fairy. And what do we have on the end? Let's see, it is a Cinderella Uncommon Hollow Foil. Alrighty, let's see what we get out of this Melissa, Maleficent pack right here. We have Mufasa as our first Uncommon. Abu, the different artwork. Timon, Tinkerbell, Peter Pan flying in the air. 
Cerebus, Chief Tui, Prince Philip, Smash. So this card is an action one. So it is, deals three damage to the chosen character. It's a good one if you want to knock out a character. And then we have our super rare. We're getting a lot of super rares in this booster box. We have Hans, not one of my favorite ones. So that is the first thing that could be rare or higher. It kind of looks like a silver, I would say like seashell or diamond right there. And then we also have another super rare. Wow. We have Tamatua, uh, the crab from Mu... Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Moana right there. And then on the end, we have Aurora Common. That, I kind of like that one right there. It's a, just a common, but do like the hollow foil. All right, moving on to another pack. Let's see what we get in here. We have Maleficent pack artwork. I don't know if it's the exact artwork, but it's pretty cool. We have Aladdin, the Street Rats, Minnie Mouse, Beloved Princess, Friends on the other side, very good one to draw cards. I love this card as well. Meg right there from Hercules, the cute little Simba, Aurora, Goofy, and I love this one. And like I said, I think this would be a chase for my brother to hit. He loves his Goofies, and I feel like this is one of the coolest artworks in the the set. And I would love to get this as a ho hollow foil as an uncommon. Then we have the other Musketeer, Donald Duck. Then we move on to our second rare, Dr. Facilier. And what is this card? We have a rare a Maui. And then moving on to our foil, we have a Sudden Chill. I love that. That is very cool with the green little, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like a smoke. You got little Dal uh, Dalmatians in the picture and Corella in the background. So. I do actually really like this uncommon hollow foil, so we will sleeve that up. Moving along, we have another Maleficent pack. Let's see what we can get inside here. We have a Jasmine Disguise, Elsa the Ice Surfer, Healing Glow, The Wardrobe, Duke of Wesselton, Aladdin, a different one right there, just a very vanilla, just gets you two lore if you quest for it. Captain, Reflection, Flynn Rider, ooh, I love this artwork as well. Captain Hook flying in the air above the ship. So we're gonna have a lot of Peter Pan characters. So maybe we have a chance for maybe that uh, enchanted Tinkerbell. I would love that. That's one of my favorite artworks. So first rare is Captain Hook. Ooh, we moved over, but we have Takai, legendary right there. And I believe that is our third legendary right there we have takai and then kind of showed it skipped over it gaston holofoil uncommon all righty moving on to another mickey mouse pack L brave little taylor hopefully we can pull him again as a legendary so i believe we have three legendaries i think two non-hollow and one that is a hollow so we have aladdin minnie mouse jet uh jetsam horus Tinkerbell, Trident, the King, the Sea King, Goofy Musketeer again, Lilo, one of my least favorite artworks. I'm not, I like Lilo and Stitch, but not a huge fan of this artwork. And then par part of our first, first one of our rares, part of your world is a first rare, Hans, and then our hollow foil is Fire the Cannons, a playable card, but another uncommon right there. All right, we're getting down to it. I believe we have nine more packs in this booster box. Can we pull that elusive uh, Enchanted? We will see Mickey Mouse, Peter Pan, Shmee, Elsa, Mickey Mouse, Steamboat, Willy, Hercules, Dragonfire, I love this card. Banishes chosen character, you can play it for five ink. Just gets it off the field. Great card to use. Sven. Mother Knows Best from Tangled. Then we have Captain Hook again. Different artwork, rare. And then, oops, we skipped over it. Just in time, uh, Maui right there. And that is uh, the artwork of the playmat. And then part of your world, rare. And I do like the bubbles 
As you can see, the foil kind of coming up there. That is pretty cool. So we got a rare hollow foil right there. All right, moving on to a Elsa pack. These are opening up very easy, a little bit easier than Pokemon packs. So definitely way better for that thing. Uh, working together, Pongo. Ooh, I did lose this in the tournament. So another evasive character. I do like this card. It only takes four to get it out and only evasers can attack it. So it has two attack, three defense. And if you exert it, it gets two lore. So that is a pretty good card for the beginning. Hee hee. Freeze, Stolen Scimitar, Goons, Dragonfire once again, Sven, Jumba from Lilo Stitch, if it's not uh, the, like the clock from um, Beauty and the Beast, uh, I don't want to mispronounce it, as our rare, first rare, our second rare, White Rabbit's Pocket Watch, and then the end, we have a Smee right there. I love the movie Hook. I actually just watched that with a friend. And Captain Hook always goes, me. Alrighty, moving on. We have Maleficent. Let's see what we can get in this pack. Alright. We got our boy Flounder right there. Moving on to Sergeant Tibbs. Dinglehopper. One of the most lackluster ones, but it's kind of funny. It's just a fork. Uh, we have Yzma. Stolen Scimitar, The Herc, Rapunzel, Rafiki, Dr. Fusilier's cards. Ooh, another legendary right there. I heard this one is playable, Rapunzel. So it what it does, it says when you play this character, move up to three damage from one of your characters. So you take off damage, it has it. So say this character was attacked uh, by a two attack, it would have two damage things. So say it was another character, you get to take out those two damages because you get to take up to three. And then each one you take off, you get to draw a card. So you're healing your characters while cycling through your deck. So that is a pretty good one. And then our next one is another legendary. So double legendary pack. We have a bell and this one can also be an enchanted and hopefully something very good on this end. And then we just have a Han. So Two pretty good legendaries and a lackluster, I would say, hollow foil right there. Moving along, we are down to our final six packs. Hopefully, we have some more bangers in this booster box. So we have an Aurora Uncommon. Tangled once again, we have Stitch, Archimedes, Stampede, Captain Hook. We got, I think, most of the artworks or maybe all the artworks for Captain Hook. King Triton. You have forgotten me, Simba. We have Mufasa in the clouds right there. Lilo, Plasma Blaster as our rare. Moving along, we have the Queen right there as our super rare. And what do we have on the end? We have, boom, one of my favorite cards as a hollow, a whole new world. Hollow foil right there, and that is really cool. We will put that up right there with the fireworks going off with the little hollow patterns. So that is a pretty cool one to hit. So I do like that. And that is a super rare hollow foil. All right, down to our final five. We have a hollow legendary pool out of this booster box and a super rare uh, hollow foil. So I don't know how much better this booster box can get, but we will see. We have Mufasa, Pongo once again, Simba, the wardrobe, Aladdin, Double Aladdin, so the different color one. Coconut Baskets. Ariel. I believe that's one of 204, so it starts off uh, the the number the numbering of this set. We have Krunk. Genie is our first rare. We've seen a lot of Genie. And we have a Mulan Super Rare. That is not the non-hollow, but we would take it. I love Mulan. Such a good Disney movie. And, and we have a Elsa Snow Queen. Hollow Foil Uncommon, right there. And I believe I did pull this one already out of my few packs I opened, but love how when she's casting kind of her spell right there, you got like the little ice uh, swirl right there. They are hollow, so very cool one to hit right there. All right, final four packs. We are almost towards the end of our video and our booster box. 
We have a Maleficent pack right here. We have Develop Your Brain. We have Abu, Puma, Maleficent, Peter Pan, The Herc. One jump ahead, and I do like this one as well. This is another one where I believe, yep, put the top card of your deck into your inkwell face down, kind of like the Mickey Mouse, so it only costs two. This is a non-inkable card right there. Do you like that to actually get more characters out to be more playable? We have Leafu, Frying Pan. We have Captain Hook. That might be the last one we didn't pull out of this booster box. We have a rare of it. And we have a Mickey Mouse Artful Rogue. And I know someone is going to be very happy about this one because I don't, I don't think she has it. So another one my sister might need. I need to check after this video. So Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey Mouse Artful Rogue is our super rare. On the end, we have a Ransack, which we have pulled before, an uncommon hollow foil. All right, we are down to the final three packs. If you're enjoying this Lorcana opening, please subscribe to my channel. And also, if you're at Gen Con or you're very interested in opening Lorcana on September 1st, comment down below what is your favorite card you've seen in this video. Or maybe if you did go to Gen Con, comment down below what card you pulled. Maybe it was an Enchanted that was really cool or just one of those hollow foils that was really cool. So I would like to know that and I would love to continue doing some more openings of Lorcana when the set is officially released. So, moving on to our third final pack. We have Merlin, Minnie Mouse, Sebastian, Jetsum, Genie, Captain Hook once again. Ooh, I like this one. I got to cut to the chase. It is an action, chosen character, gains to rush this turn. So, kind of like that Rafiki. You get to put a character out at rush automatically. So that's pretty cool. And it has a brave little tailor with his little scissors right there. Olaf from Frozen. Seems very joyful that it's snowing. The Beast is Mine, as are uncommon. Fishbone Quill, very lackluster one. So actually, I never read this card. So put any card from your hand into your inkwell face down. Not bad. So you get to put a card. Uh, that's actually good, actually. So, do like that as a rare. Ooh, John Silver from Treasure Planet. Legendary, so I believe that is our fifth or sixth. I would have to count. We will do a recap at the end of this video. And what is on the end? We have Sergeant Tibbs Uncommon. So, pulling a lot of legendaries out of this booster box. Looks very similar to my sister's and fian her fiance's um, booster box that they had where they pulled about six legendaries and one of them was Hollow And So this has been a great opening. Alrighty, down to our final two packs. We have Elsa. Hopefully we could see one more big pool. I am not gonna hope for the Enchanted. That would be crazy if we got it. But let's get maybe one more, let's say rare or super rare. Uh, hollow foil that we really like. So we have Work Together from Emperor, Emperor's New Groove, Gaston, Akuna Matata, Magic Broom, Sudden Chill, which we got a hollow foil of, Tinkerbell. Ooh, I love this one. It's uncommon, but Moana kind of parting the sea right there. Very cool artwork of Moana right there. Reflection from Mulan, Tamatu or Tamatua uh, from Moana as well. So Get a lot of Moana cards here. Rare is a Lilo with her plushie right there, looking at that starry night. Then we have Aigu from uh, Aladdin. And then we have Eyes of the Fates from Hercules, so an uncommon hollow foil. Alrighty, we are at the end of our video. I do like to do this. I am going to show you once again. We are doing a PSA giveaway once we pass 1,000 subscribers. So if you would like to enter, you need to be subscribed. Comment on one of my videos and like one of my videos. And you will be entered in to win this Jirachi PSA 10 Amazing Rare. So let's move on to our final pack of our booster box. We cannot be mad with this booster box because... It has been pretty good. So, final pack of the Lurkana Booster Box until September 1st when the set is released. 
I believe some LGSs might be doing it. We have Phil is our uncommon. Minnie Mouse, Dinglehopper, Archimedes, Tinkerbell, Beastmere, Shield of Virtue as our first uncommon. Ursula's Cauldron. I did see someone play this and this looks like uh, you're trying to cycle out your deck. I might actually put this in when I actually play at my local um, card, card stores. So that is a good card to pull if you're looking for playability. Then Tamatua right there again. We have, Mo uh, wow, well, I can't talk. Maui as our rare. Hades as our rare. On the end, we have a Captain Hook. And I said it, I did want one I wanted. Captain Hook Hollow Rare, the one where he's flying. So that is a cool artwork right there. So let me do a quick recap of some of the big hitters that I believe that we have. Alrighty, to end off our video, we're gonna do a quick recap. You can comment down below. I do want to get some of these graded. Um, I'm a huge collector. I, I will play the game as well at some card stores, but comment down below which ones do you think I should get graded in these packs. So we have our Mickey Mouse for our super rare. We have our Stitch Rockstar, Ariel, Marshmallow, Genie, Robin Hood, Tinkerbell the Giant Fairy, Tamatua, Hans, the Queen, and Mulan. So let's count that out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven super rares that we hit out of this booster box. And then we will move on to our legendaries. We have Hades, the man himself, Takai, Rapunzel, Belle, and John Silver from Treasure Planets. And then we will move on to some of the big hitters of the hollow foils. I picked out three of them because there's a lot of hollow foils comes in every pack. We had our biggest hit of the opening. We had our legendary beast. One of my favorites, I would say this is probably one of my chases out of this first set called the first chapter is a whole new world. I love the fireworks with Jasmine and Aladdin flying on the carpet. And then a very cool one. I just love this artwork with Captain Hook flying over the ship. We have a rare hollow foil. So once again, my name is Yoni. I am a smaller YouTube creator. If you could like, leave a comment, and subscribe down below, that would be awesome. So that is all I have for today, and this is Yoni signing off.